When it comes to healthy living, most people are taught to monitor their body mass index, cholesterol, and their blood pressure. But there's another important medical marker that scientists have identified that contributes to the aging process, fittingly called AGEs. We are joined this morning by Dr. Michelle Davenport, a nutrition consultant, to tell us all about AGEs. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Why do we need to better understand AGEs and what exactly are they? Well, we need to understand how they work because eating behavior can actually affect our aging process. And AGEs are basically a short term for advanced glycation end products. These are compounds that can accelerate the aging process and they're tied to so many different health concerns that Americans have today. So where do they're AGEs actually, come from? Where, where do we find them? So they're actually in two different places. Um, we can form them in our bodies naturally uh, through the normal aging process. This is a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Or we can actually eat them through foods because certain foods contain high amounts of AGEs. These are fried foods, sugary foods, processed foods, foods that are browned at high heat. So for example, creme brulee or bacon. Now what ends up happening is when we eat a lot of these foods, they accumulate in our bodies and our tissues and over time it accelerates the aging process and it ages us from the inside out. Okay, so what tips do you have for people to manage AGEs? So I have three tips for you. So the first is lo low slow heat. So cooking with low slow heat can actually reduce the amount of AGEs by almost 70%. So for example, using a slow cooker or crock pot um, can actually reduce it by a large amount. Now a second tip I have for you is lemon and water. So marinating a meat like uh, with lemon juice, lime juice, or some sort of acid marinade before cooking it can actually reduce the amount of AGEs by almost 50%. And cooking with a water-based method can reduce the amount of AGEs by almost 90%. This is a huge reduction. And lastly, since I'm a nutritionist, I have to tell you, fruits and vegetables. Um, fruits and veggies contain these super antioxidants that can fight the aging process. Okay, so is there a way for us to reduce our AGEs without giving up our favorite foods, like pizza, pasta, things like that? Absolutely. I mean, I'm such a foodie myself, so what I've done here is I've transformed a number of recipes just to show you how easy it is to cut back on the AGEs without compromising flavor or, or taste. So what I first have here is a piece of salmon that's been broiled. Now salmon is actually a very healthy fish with omega-3s, fatty acids, but broiling it increases the AGEs by almost 75%. Now if we wrap it in parchment paper and stick it in the oven, you can cut back on those AGEs because it traps in the water and the water will protect the fish from forming AGEs. Okay. My second dish is, yeah, my second dish is mac and cheese. So mac and cheese, a very classic dish, but most people will actually place it in the oven after making it on the stovetop. And putting it in the oven doubles the AGEs. So if we skip the oven, we can skip out on those AGEs. Um, and if you still want that crispy texture, you can sprinkle some toasted breadcrumbs on top. Now with summer coming, my last thing is a uh, baby back ribs. So th these are a summer staple. Normally people make it by putting it onto the grill for hours and hours, which is delicious, but it's an aging disaster. So to anti-age this dish, we've tossed it into a crock pot, and this reduces the AGEs significantly. It tastes great. Still get all that falling off the, uh, the bone flavor and, and the, the same barbecue flavor. Okay, fantastic. Well, great information, especially during the summertime where everyone wants to look their best. Uh, where can we learn more about all this? So for more information, go to agefoundation.com. There's a bunch of recipes and tips and resources. And just remember, ageless does not mean tasteless, so you can still protect your body by protecting your food. Great. All right, good news. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. Uh,